Well, we're just a couple of months away from the Summer Olympic Games in London. And of course, one of the biggest events in any Summer Olympics, the gymnastics competition. Did you know that one of the most famous Olympic gymnasts in the world lives right here in the Valley? Olga Corbett, she won three golds and a silver 40 years ago, and she shared some of her memories with our Troy Hayden. John and Carrie, to look at Olga Corbett's significance, we have to go back 40 years. The Cold War was still in full swing. The Soviet Union parading nuclear missiles that could wipe out our country. We had to do ducking cover drills at school. I remember it being a very scary time. The Soviets, they were very scary people. And in that climate, the world met Olga Corbett. With that smile, she made us see for a short time the Soviets weren't all bad. And I had a chance to talk to her at her Scottsdale home. She showed her awesome gymnastic talent to the world, but maybe more importantly, 40 years ago, Olga Corbett, a Soviet gymnast, flashed her winning smile at the height of the Cold War. It dashed stereotypes and won over millions of people watching her on TV. In this video, still featured prominently on YouTube, she wins three golds and a silver at the 1972 Olympics in Munich, four decades ago now. It was like yesterday, 72. I remember everything. For a time, she may have been the most famous athlete in the world. She and swimmer Mark Spitz sharing the 72 Olympic spotlight. But this will be complete. And Olga now lives here in the valley. She moved here a while back, taken in by the desert climate and the landscape. And I had a chance to sit down and talk to her about her life here. She even showed me her medals. They were heavy. I've never held an Olympic medal before, and it was very cool. Do you, I mean, do you ever get worried about having these around? Do you keep them in a safe deposit box or anything? Should I even ask you no, that? No, I always uh, care with me. When I go to, like, I do interview now, and I show how I... She told me a story about getting invited to the White House just after the 72 games, where she met then-President Richard Nixon. And he came to me, and he said, Oh, you little girl. And I didn't speak English yet. And I said, oh, you little big boy. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. President. <Yeah. laughs> she spends her time now doing appearances and working on staying Hello. fit. And when I met her, she insisted on showing me some of the exercises she uses to keep her gymnast body at the age of 57. How many of these do I have to do? <laughs> I do all the time, 100, 100. Uh, 100? Yeah. <laughs> When she looks back on 40 years, she's proud of what she did in competition. But she says she's even prouder of the impact her smile and her personality had on a world gripped in the Cold War. I won heart of millions of people. For me, it's the most important medal, let's say. Not what I won uh, three gold and one silver in 72, but biggest one heart of people. And she still has that smile, right? Olga's put together a nice collection of photos and memorabilia at her website, and you can also contact her there if you want to. We put a link to her site on our site, myfoxphoenix.com. Troy Hayden, Fox 10 News.